Well, hello everyone. This is Gladys from Gladys Garden. Thanks for stopping by. Today I'd like to share a project that I just finished um, creating for a niece of mine who's just about to give birth to her first baby boy. And um, I decided to make a quite large um, album. And I'm not even sure what I'm going to call this. It's um, kind of a retro, a mix of retro and vin vintage, um, a little whim whimsical um, style here. But it's made out of chess file folders with obviously the chipboard for covering and then also for the spine. So I'm just going to quickly give you a rundown of what I did with it. And um, then I'll start taking a lot of pictures of them and then put them together so you guys can enjoy more of a, you know, one-on-one. -on -one, so... So the, it measures, let me see, <clears throat> so I don't, I just want to make sure that I do remember. It is nine and a half um, wide and it is ten and one fourth long. So it's quite big and it's, you know, it's hard to keep it within frame here. Um, I'm not sure, I think these are Primas papers, but they're, they're old. I've had them for, you all know I'm a paper hoarder, you know, I have issues with that. So when I find something really good, and I never know what I'm going to use it for, but you know, the occasion always um, arrives and I'm able to use it perfectly. I'm not sure she's going to like this. Um, she really is not into vintage or any of that. Um, and I think I showed her the this page before and she thought it was a little feminine and um, that she didn't like the vintage too much um, but that's all I had at the time when she saw you know the, the first cover so nothing else was done so I don't know if she's going to like it if she's not you know I'll just go and buy papers that she likes um, but um, anyway so it's a huge album it does have a belt that I created out of uh, one of my twins had bought a, a purse a big purse and I had all these straps and stuff and she didn't want them and I go this is go perfect with this because it's not it can go really for a boy or a girl I'm not making it you know you all know I'm not a very pink person I'm not a very flowery person anyways but I made the album so it really can go both ways but without being you know too much into, into the, the feminine side so I'm gonna go ahead and open it so this is just the, the, the way I created this build and I put it together and I put some um, eyelets or grommets in there and then I put one of this one of these uh, swivel clasp that is going to close obviously like this and then I put made a, a little charm dangle I used one of Tim Holtz um, swivel clasp and then I put um, a locket a key that says dream uh, I think that's from Tim Holtz and this is also from Tim Holtz um, and the little, I don't know where I got that one, but it's a little car. It's a little buggy. I think it looks really cute. Um, and then there's a little, let me see if I get that one. It's like a rocking horse, that little rocking horse. I don't know if you can see it. Anyhow, so that's the, that's the little dangling things. <clears throat> this paper had three little tags on the side. And by total mistake, I covered somehow one of them. And that's not what I wanted. But I wanted to bring that out in, in um, within the, <clears throat> the design of the book. So I created this huge tag right here out of heavy chipboard. And then I used, um, I painted it kind of a green aqua green underneath and then obviously I used the medium to crackle it and then I put the final coat which is uh, the yellow and it cracked and you can see the you know the let me see if I can I don't know if you can capture that but there's a lot of cracks into the into the the tag paint and it really looks cool and then I made a little um, you know I don't know a little banner with um, you know leftovers of the papers that I've used in it I didn't I know I used um uh I think it was um die cuts with a view and it's a very old paper let me see if I have it here yeah it's the green stack by um green stack by um die cuts with a view so it's really old I've had it for a long time and uh but I, you know, I always knew I was going to use it one, one way or another. Anyhow, so I, I um, did the cut. Uh, I cut the letters out of with uh, Tim Holtz, um, uh, you know, his ABC and numbers die. I cut the hour, and then I have a die that says treasure. So and it's separated. So I just put him that way in order to create this little banner in there. 
just to bring a little bit more of a um, more boyish and nostalgia to it. I didn't want it, you know, I I didn't want this the pink and the lace in here to dominate. Um, but I really wanted to see this um, rocking horse in it. She didn't care for it too much, but I think it's going to be better once we open it. Front, I did cover it with a polka dotted uh, between uh, cream color and browns. And this is another paper. I don't know where, I, I really don't know whose paper is this. I think it's also Prima. Um, but it has like corrugated paper. And this is, I think, the only flower they has in here. And I think I'm going to have to cover it or something because I don't think she's going to go for that. But, you know, she hasn't seen the whole thing yet. And then this one. So I created seven pages in here. It's huge, okay? It's really, really huge. And it's really, in, um, it's very interactive. It's very busy. Uh, so you'll be, you'll be able to, or she'll be able to uh, put about 150 pictures in here, if not more, okay? And let me go. So the first page, it goes with the uh, tab up. So you will see that right there. And tag here and then she can either put pictures in there and do some journaling I did that too so there's two pockets in here and then once you pass that you have a huge mat in here so she can do some more pictures and more journaling sorry full of paint my hands and then if you turn it around so there's a flap this is how they go they lift up so there's a lot of room for See, it's, it's hard to put it in within frame because it's so, you know, it's so um, big. So there you go. And then you have a flap from the next page that is coming up. And then it lifts up this way too. So mat, another mat, mat, and mat here. And you have another huge mat here. And then this is another mat that comes out. A pull out mat and we're still on the tab up I did I think I think I did two tabs um, two tabs up three in the middle and two on the for the bottom tabs I think that's why I did it so this is second page quite busy this is just one second page right here and the back of it I covered it with that I thought that was very pretty you know with the trees kind of whimsical a little bit you know nostalgic and um, this one so this is still part of three, no, number two, sorry. And this is number three. So it lifts this way. You have mat here, mat here. Brings, it comes down as so you have more mat in here. And you have a huge mat in here too. It comes out. So look how big they are. So really like an eight by 10 pictures, I think they would fit perfectly. Big mat in there. And then if you flip it to the back of uh, page number three, this one lifts, it's going to lift up. And then you have a second one that would lift up. So all these are matte areas for you to put um, some pictures. And I thought of putting some of these ones with a little triangle, like a clear triangle, so it'll hold things in. So I might still do that. So that's number three. Number four goes over here. And so they all have the same, you know, I have like a base page for all of them. And this one has two, two pockets in here. Or, and they, they pull out so big mats in here and then another one over here I'm not sure if I like this one on top uh, showing up so I think I'm gonna have to do something about that one but this is another big mat in here so there's a lot of room I mean I can still go on and on and the gusset is really big so a lot more can fit I mean I can still create pages in here and go on and on forever I mean but I stop here because I need to do other things so the back of number four has another big mat that pulls out. And then you have this cute little, I don't know what that is, a beaver or a platypus. I don't know what it is, but it looked cute. And I thought, oh, that's going to look really cute in there. So this has a little, you know, it's like a gusset in there. So you can put any mat and it holds it right there. And then we go to number five. So yeah, number five. This is a very busy page. So you have all this area right here, but there are pockets in here and in here. And each one has a big tag that pulls out. This one has a twinkle, twinkle, little starred um, song. And this one has a little wagon. And this one has um, like a bee panel or whatever. Oh. And the beaver is in there too, and I thought that looked really cute. 
and I love this. This is just the back of number um, five. So this one pulls up this way. So they're all mats, and this one doesn't come out. It's like a just um, like a little pocket, so it holds. So we can still do another big mat in here to hold it. If she likes it, I'll go ahead and you know go ahead and embellish it more. But I didn't want to put a lot of embellishments because the paper is busy enough and it's beautiful. I think. Um, <clears throat> this is page number six. Also, very busy page, extremely busy. So. This is an independent page right here, but it's like an A page, the eighth one you can say maybe, but it's an independent from the other one. So you have a mat to lift up, and so mat here, mat here, and then this one comes out. Same thing on the back, it pulls out, so we can still put another mat in here if you wanted to. You know the possibilities are endless. You can go this way, you can go that way. It's just a lot, you know. And then you get to the true page number six, I guess. And I really like that one too. So, two big pockets in here with two big tags that she can, um, that I made, that I stamp. I don't think it's very girly. What do you guys think? Oh, maybe it is, and I don't, I'm not sure. Anyways, there's that. Now the mat that pulls out. So, I use papers from all kinds of areas, you know. I just. I like it and put them I like them and then I put them together so this is the back of number uh, seven actually because this will be the eighth <laughs> all right so the back now we're going to go to the uh, tabs going down and again we have a whole mat that pulls out and you have a mat here and then a pocket here this one so that will be the seventh right because of that little one that we had, you know, over here, that's why. So, so, so that would be six, seven, and then this one eight. So this one is an interesting page, very interactive and busy, but if it'll fit so much. So as you finish with number seven, you have a huge mat here, and obviously they all have the mat. See, I did the wrong area. This was supposed to be on this side to cover that from the um, file folders, but oh well. You've got to air sometimes. Okay, so, and then this just flips over this way. Look how big, I mean, it doesn't even fit on the camera. So, keep mat here, mat here, and here. So, you keep folding and folding, and that's how it rests. And then, obviously, the mat that you already saw. And then you turn the page, and I really like this one. It's cool. So, this one is the back of number seven, um, eight. And look what I'm going to do. Ta -da! I like that. So there's a huge um, areas for you to put pictures, to do um, journaling, so much, so much. And then this one opens this way too. So and obviously this place just uh, this this the, the back of uh, of the cover can also be turned into a page with some pockets in here or whatever. But you know I think it was busy enough that she could really um, use it and like it. And if she wants more interaction into it, I'll put, I'll put some more. But I think it's interactive enough. So, how you guys like it? I hope you do. And uh, leave me a comment or a message. I'll, I'll start taking some pictures right now so you all can enjoy it. It's really hard with uh, such a big, you know, album. But um, I'm very pleased with the results. So, we'll see how she likes it. Alright, I'll keep you up to date with that. I'll take some pictures and you guys enjoy it. Okay? Take care. Bye.